so guys I want to make a bolster and this is a pillow that is round shaped like that okay I hope my illustration is good but the other side is also round so my bolster I wanted to have a diameter of 8 inches and a length of about 24 inches okay guys I hope you can see this so I'm going to show you how we are going to calculate so that we can achieve this and this is where the mathematical um, formulas has to apply so if my length is 24 inches meaning I'll have two pieces one piece will be round and this I will need two so we will have to cut two for this side and for the other side and then I will have this rectangular shape like that okay guys I hope you are following and then this rectangular shape will have a length of 24 inches which is this the length of the bolster and then this other length will be determined by the circumference this will be the circumference of of the circle okay now we will have to calculate the circumference of this circle we've already determined that the diameter is eight inches and i'm dealing with inches in this case so if the diameter is eight inches what is the circumference of this circle so we are going to do mathematics here so we say um the circumference of a circle is found using pi d and d in this case is diameter so we are going to so if the diameter is pi 8 inches what will be the circumference to find the circumference you're going to do pi which is 22 over 7 times 8 so we can use the 3.1 3.142 times 8 and then we are going to find the answer which is the circumference I had the answer as 25 point one three six so we are going to round off this to the nearest which is 25 inches and that is the circumference of our circle here so that means that this um this rectangle will have 25 in 24 inches in length and i will cut here at 25 inches but guys remember that this is a rectangle and i will have to join it okay so i will have to join it to form a, a shape which will have which now i'm going to sew this piece on top so i will need to add a seam allowance and i'm going to use a seam allowance of half an inch because i'm going to use a zip on this side to um for the purposes of closure of the cover of the bolster so now i'm going to use 24 25 so with my 25 inches i'm going to need half on this side and half on this side okay i'm going to use half on each side for sewing i need the total of this after sewing to be 25 inches so that the rectangle can fit perfectly on this circle so i need to add seam allowance here so i'm going to do if i'm going to need half on this side and half on this side that will mean half plus half inch is one inch so that will give me plus one which would be 26 so in this will be half an inch on this side and half an inch of this side which i'm going to sew it off all right so now we have our um, formula of finding okay remember you can use any measurements according to your liking but this is the general formula i'm going to use to cut my bolster so now let's get 
into it.